narrator. Yeah. You, we're making pasta. And we have Chef. You want to tell me your name? Chef Jasmine. Mm -hmm. She actually went to culinary school. She's, we did it before, but she's teaching me how to make pasta. She taught me, you know, we did one time, now we're doing another time. So I figured I'd share it with you all. See what you think. I'm going to put that back so that we can do the beans again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do this. Okay. Just be careful because there's something we don't want all over the floor. Your mother will kill both of us. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? what? You were doing what? <laughs> it wasn't me, it was her. <laughs> Always trying to blame me. Of course. Of course. Forks are up there. Those are plastic forks in the door over there. Thank you, thank you. I'm going to pop right at you. For what? Everything. That's not right. We're supposed to be making pasta. You're not supposed to pick on me. I don't hear how much she picks on me. I'm just over here trying to make some pasta. <laughs> so I need just about like a... Now why do you use kosher salt? Kosher salt, you can use less salt and it gives you more flavor at the same time. So mm -hmm. there's less salt called kosher salt? Yeah. Because so it's more, it's a bigger flake so it's stronger than table salt. Okay. And then that because it's stronger, you use less than table salt. Okay. Mm-hmm. Plus, it gives it a little bit stronger flavor. I want to whisk that in there, make it all nice and even. Some people say it helps with the texture, too. Really? Yeah. Make our well in the middle. Now, do you make your own yeast? I don't. You do know how though, right? I'm sure you do. I've seen it. I've never, I just haven't done it myself. I make it. I'm going to actually make it on YouTube okay. in a couple of weeks for people to. Because at this point in time, you know, because of the, the, the scare that we had last year with so many of the shelves being empty and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I've decided, I've decided. Now, this was just my decision, there okay? That I'm going to start growing my own wheat. So I'm actually getting some wheat um, seeds in. Go ahead, Dee. Yeah. But now I got to go, and I have to invest in a mill and a pasta maker. Go. So. Hell, Amazon. Got everything. I, I already looked on Amazon. I'm going to, but I got to get the seeds and everything first, and then I'm going to, but I then realized that I think you can go to the co-op and, and get the seeds. Have uh, you ever been to the co-op? Uh-uh. I'm going to take you up there then. Let's go. It's a, yeah. It's a natural food. When do you go, when you're off again, whenever that is. All right. <laughs> Hey, look, you work hard. Thank you, thank you, too, bro. Yeah, okay, right here. <laughs> Where can you get a mill at? Amazon. Oh, well, yeah, probably. Now, I, 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 I opted to get the $57 one because they're like $57. Well, there's a $37 one, but I don't want that one. And then there's a $90 one and then so on and so forth. All so, this extra stuff that you don't need. Well, no, I mean, you know, I'll probably get a better one later. But to start off with, I'm just going to get a cheap one and then mill my own flour and stuff. Because I make my own cornmeal, you know. Really? Oh, i got to show you all this. Yes, you do. Well, what I did with the culinary school, I didn't teach you how to do See that they were waiting for you to come teach us, and then uh -uh, I don't know. <laughs> they tried. They tried to get me to come and teach culinary when I was at Del Tech, right? See, I did teach the um. What did I teach? But that was because one of the teachers was out, though. Our eggs in there. Oh, so what? Taught for a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it was a for for a semester because she was sick. Oh, so I forgot what it was. Measurements and all that. So what would that be called? Uh, intro. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Introduction to you. Yeah. Dee -dee. You're going to need two whole eggs. Two whole eggs. And then you're going to need three egg yolks. Oh, okay. Papa. Mm -hmm. See the little white dish right there, honey? Yeah. Hi. I moved the cabinet around. This cabinet, the middle cabinet right there. And I put my cups in there because they were over there. And your mother came in today, right? And she was looking for something. And she went to go look for the cups. And she's like, and then she saw the tea over there, so then she knew I must be there. <laughs> so connect the dots. Mm -hmm. So, what? so what are you gonna do with the with the, the with the whites? Do you? I was gonna ask you. Did you want to keep them? Yeah, probably. Keep that. I'll leave them right in the bowl. So how you gonna get? Oh, okay. I understand what you're doing. I know what you're doing. Now. We're good. We're good. I keep the eggshells for for my my plant. 
Ooh, what would you like to open? I do too. Yeah, I'm gonna grind them. To make your own flour. Yeah, let me know how that turned out. I we were going to. Go so what to make your own um uh egg flour, egg shell. Flour for the plants. But what what happened? I grind I I didn't break them this time. I just crushed them and I put them out there. But then I was reading something, and I said, yeah, I should have ground ground them up and everything and made the flour for um you know the plants. Okay. But you do know banana banana peels and water is good too for the plants. Yes, it is. But some bananas just soak in some water, get them mm -hmm. nice and mushy. It smells so bad, girl. Oh, God. Hurry up and take them outside. Mm -hmm. Supposed to let them go no more than two days, and one day I forgot. And let them go for about four Ooh. days. When I opened it up to put it in, I'm like, wow. But the plants did well. They were like opening up and saying, yay. Finally, but no, that stuff stinks. <laughs> it does stink. Yes. I can't stand that. There's two egg yolks. Last one. You, already found it. you want me to cover it up or just stick it right in the fridge? Put it right in the fridge. What? You're talking about the, the, the bowl right there? Yeah. I'll use that for something later on. Okay. Just close that up and put that in the freezer. I mean, in the freezer. Yeah, I'll be all right. There we go. I'll put it on the top shelf. Get that last egg yolk. Extra egg white ain't going to hurt. Nice. Yeah. And then they say Epsom salt's good too for your plants. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I haven't put that on there yet, but I'm not. But you know what I'd like to try to do? Mm -hmm. Because that says that. I was thinking powder the egg, the egg, the eggshell. Yeah. And then put the put the banana peel in there. To pick, pick the banana peelings out. Put the water in, mm -hmm. and put it in the powdered one, and then put the Epsom salt in and see what that does to it. I think that that might make a good plant feeder too. Yeah, and you use less for this. Yeah. But then I keep that daggone jar outside because I know good dog off well. <laughs> Clean up my mess. But there are a couple of plant foods that you can actually make with whatever you have in the house too. So right. But I just haven't tried them. I don't know why. Well, have less waste for the house and everything. Well, I think what happens to all of us, okay, is that we got away with you know going to the store and getting being used to getting certain things off the shelf and everything like that. So. Mm-hmm. No, exactly. Now that we got our well, we got our eggs, our salts mixed in, we're going to need about a tablespoon of olive oil. Give it that shine and some extra flavor. Okay. Can you see that? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I don't miss mine. Remember, I'm a mom. Uh, let me stop. Now you're just going to, let me stop messing. <laughs> you just take your fork and you're going to whisk it all in there. Get everything nice and combined. And while you're whisking, you're going to pull in some of the flour. So you start you're to pull in a little bit of time, right? Yep. That way you start to make the dough. You can keep pushing the well closer and closer in. Your hands are pretty clean over there. Are you trying to say something? Mm -hmm. You want me to do it? Yeah, you, yeah go ahead and whisk it. See, yeah. I'm having a problem with my hands today. I see. That's okay, though. Exactly. It'll get whisked. I'm just a little slower than you are. Yeah, you sure. But that way, a lot slower, you can see it getting pulled in. Mm hmm The eggs are combining. I'm just pushing it closer so it doesn't okay. run out. You push it closer now. Mm -hmm. Whisk away. There we go. Now could you do this with a whisk? You probably, you probably could, but then it, that's just a whole extra mess. Now I want to ask you something. Um, you know the the yeast that we already have that you buy in a package, right? Uh huh. Okay. Does that really just die out or something like that? You know, they they put a um expiration expiration date on it. It'll it'll eventually die. It's it's. Ah, it's hard to say. It the the older it gets, the less effective it is. That's the yeah, because way. you know, I mean, we had like huh? cakes of yeast mm -hmm. when I was a kid, um, and 
And our mother made her yeast, but she always kept cakes around, and that used to stay in the closet for a long time. Mm. It'll get the job done. It'll it, Sometimes it'll just mess with your texture. Oh, okay. The texture or the quality of whatever you're making. No, yeah, this thing's not going to work. My right hand is really tired today. Oh, yeah, you are all good. But you see how it's almost a dough? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, like before. Yep. And now you can just start mashing it together. Yeah. You can pick it up. Get into the fun part in a second. Now I noticed something about you. You don't weigh anything. I mean, you don't use a measuring cup or any of that kind of stuff. Oh, we could have, and you could. No, but I don't either. I mean, because, look, for me, okay, it's because of, I'm an old time cook. You're young. Yeah. But you just know it. Exactly, especially repetition after you do it so much. It's yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And now that you got it, it's all nice and dry. Mm -hmm. Like a little, uh, almost like a muffin batter. Can mm -hmm. I see your fork? Mm -hmm. You're just going to clean it off. And now here comes the fun part. Always fun. Of course. Put that to the side. Now, take this. I'm going to start to knead it for at least 10 minutes. To watch it all start to come together. Just like that. It's a little wet in the middle, but that ain't nothing. You see how it's starting to make mm -hmm. that ball? And when you want to get in there, let me know. Let's watch it for a little while. Got you. So the need, you're going to take it, fold it, press down. There's like a million different ways to start kneading. Okay, so when you need this, okay, is that like when you're making, um, what do I want to call it? I don't. Oh, no, not how I do. The one for the um the, the cakes and the cookies and stuff like that. Filo, 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 filo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And it is 6.53, so 7.03. We should be close to good. Yep, now you got that ball of dough. We can go at it. All this extra flour that didn't get used up since we didn't measure. We'll save it because when we start to roll it, we're going to need it anyway. Yeah, Chef. You know, I wanted to go to culinary school when I was young, but culinary, you know, when you told people you wanted to be a cook, they're like, what? <laughs> they, mm -hmm. It wasn't as big as it is now. Well, yeah. But I liked being a, a teacher and then I became a school counselor, so it was fun for me. That's oh, good. This is supposed to be good for my hands, for my dexterity and stuff like that. Because I remember one of my docs was saying, do you bake bread? And I said, yeah, the bread machine. <laughs> and he said, no. I mean, do you roll out bread? And I said, no. I said, but I do other things with my hands. I knit and stuff like that. But he said, yeah, that's good too. He said, but if you bake bread, that's good for your finger exercises. Yeah. Coordination and just... Everything you need. There we go. And you know what? If you can pick that ball up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take some of this out so it doesn't get too dry on it. Yeah, Chef. Yeah, we're at it again. Who that? Oh, that's hers. That's yours? Oh, I thought you meant it. Oh, no. Oh, no that's, I didn't get one yet. No, I haven't gotten one yet. I'm going to. Okay. That's yours then. Yeah. Okay then. Nobody, nobody answered my question. Everybody talked around it. I'm sorry. Thought you, <laughs> thought you made pasta. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she's making this one. Yeah, man. That thing's gonna get the job done now. Yeah, well, I want to, I want to learn how to do it because I want to make my, I want to know. I mean, my mother used to make it, and for some reason or other, I would pay attention to her. You know what I mean? But bread or pasta? Bread and pasta. Come on here. We don't remember, okay, I was born in 1948, right after the Second World War, okay, so pretty Re much. Represent? Hmm? Represent? Represent, okay. Taking but no, 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 we well, see, the, the older people, my mother was like 30 when she had me, so. Anything got on the TV? No, not really. Oh. So, you know what I mean? So she made everything. That's how, that's how it should be. That's how it's going to may have to be. Going back to the mm -hmm. special. Yes. Oh, you did good, dude. It's all coming together. Now, um, I gotta get some. Tell me something, too. Where can we get grape, conquer grape jelly to make jelly? I mean, conquer grapes. 
Oh, you know what? I'm betting you somewhere in PA, maybe by the Amish markets, because I know certain certain ones of those. Okay. Uh, check. How much? Are, how much are they? You, mm, Mom would be a better one to ask. Than okay. Me. No, because I asked her. She said she didn't know. She she used to be able to buy some around here, but there were not many farmers around here anymore that have that. I think my friend Trebs has some okay. up at her farm. If she does, I'll get some from her. But. It's starting to come together, starting to get sticky like it should be. Mm -hmm. Dark yellow. Now, we don't have to let that rise, do we? Uh, you don't have to let it rise, but it has to rest for like 30 minutes. You want a pooping bowl for that? No, no, no. You don't, uh, no, because we got the plastic wrap. You just yeah, okay. You know, wrap it up in some plastic wrap and you're good to go. And then will you take it up with plastic wrap? Now, that's the part I didn't remember. Do I have to knead it again? At the plastic wrap? No. Okay. Yep. What? You want to knead this one? Yeah. Get you some more of that flour. And the stickier it gets, it'll clean your table. Yeah, I know. Or one thing about this table, this table's about 100 years old, so it's seen some things. To, <laughs> it's seen bread making at its finest, I'm sure. Come on here. Yeah. Yeah, but no, making your own, what you say, flour and yeast, go for it. Yeah, oh, I don't know. I'm going to make the yeast again. I mean, I've made it before, but I'm going to make it again. I'm going to I have a, a list of things to do that I some people have asked me to do, too. So. And sometimes if it was raining outside, it might have used more flour because the air is wet. Really? Yeah. So that's one good thing about not measuring. Then it could just go by feel. But you can just take any recipe off of YouTube. Yeah. Oh, mom, yeah. I mean, you can, but it was funny. Is um, there's one called there's a um, a, a show. Of, well, it's a show I guess on um, YouTube where it's called Lockdown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he makes all kinds of things. Nice. Like food wise. Mm hmm. Food wise. Mm -hmm. Nice. You get this. Yep, come together. Well, it's been about like four minutes now. Okay. What do you like making best? Baking or cooking? Baking. Hair cakes. I will sit there and I will read up a baggie. Don't cake. tell him that. He likes carrot cake. Loves it. And why he ain't ever said nothing? I haven't made a carrot cake since the kids were little. With cream cheese icing. Oh, no, no, no. You know, set it now. Wait till I make one. What yeah. do you like to cook? Cook. Mm -hmm. I'll, of course, anything with chicken. Like a nice uh, sauteed chicken breast if done right. Put a little bit of spice in there, some paprika, some paprika, everything. Getting that golden garlic. Oh, yeah. Anything with garlic. Garlic and anything except cake. And then somebody I, actually gave me a recipe for garlic cake. I thought, and I can't find it. Cakes. I can't even find it on, on, on the internet. Really? Mm hmm I think that she was from, Like a savory cake? Yeah, some kind of a savory cake. But she was from either Ireland or England. Okay. And, um... I could see it. Yeah. Like tea time. Yeah. I could see that. And do you like scones? I mm. I do. But I don't like I don't like the classic scone, like those dry ones. I Yeah. I'm not a big tea fan. I don't want to dunk it in my tea. Mm, that's too much. But some people love it. And I, I, I get the point. I see where I see where they're coming from. I'm just gonna laugh. I mean, I've made them, but they're just dry. Yeah, and like somebody said, well, if you, you made it right because it's dry. Because I thought something was wrong with it. And I yeah. was asking one of the chefs at school. So I went home. I said, they just look so good. And I tried it. He liked them. But yeah. they're like kind of dry. And he said, no, you made it right if it's dry. And I'm like, really? Yeah. One of my friends from high school, he had a recipe for a butterscotch one. But it, butterscotch scones. But it wasn't, it wasn't dry. It was more like a. More like a cake. And I like that one, but I don't call it a classic. 
It's not a classic scum, though. Yeah. But that flavor was on point. Mm-hmm. Let's clean the table. We're getting, we're getting a little sticky. Well, this is how you clean the table, huh? I heard you like carrot cake. Huh? I heard you like carrot cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, when we're making some. Hmm? When we're making some. I didn't say I was making it. Oh, uh, when we eating some. I'll, I'll, I'll eat <laughs> as much as anybody will bring. Oh, my God. <laughs> some cream cheese icing. Ooh. Yeah, I made it once a long time ago from, with my kids. And then I just never did it again. I, I really did. I, it was good, though. Yo, you they know. ate it all. Come on, honey. Good night. Go ahead. Now she got me. I'll take some homemade. <laughs> I I actually am good at box cake. I have never. Please. My mother. Box cake is delicious. If it's weird, yeah, because you put little things in it, you know. But my mother can make the best cake Come on, yeah. from scratch. And so I'm going to try one or two. Okay. Yeah, I'm picky with carrot cake. I just, they got no, I'm not. Yeah, I'll leave it I'm, to you. I'm, no, no, no. Because some, the boxes are good, but the, the already made ones in the stores, I'm like, ah, some of them are dry. The icing will be just, just a little. What time? Just about. My mother used to make the best pound cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, my mother cake. did, too. Your, your mother's oh. pound cake was like my mom's my pound cake. Pound cake like nobody's business. With icing or just? No, I didn't need it. No, I put strawberries or peaches or something on it. Mm. That's good. Come on here. <laughs> yeah, get you a nice little slice of that. So you're making uh, pasta? Mm -hmm. You gonna have it tonight? No. Oh, this is what I have. <laughs> oh, it'll be room. <laughs> oh, we have some in the freezer though. I know you got some right here. I'll put some in the freezer. Nice. You go over the door with the freezer. I know before I came over I cooked mom some breakfast. Just make it nice and I was like, I didn't want to mess. I don't mm. You see how you can push it and it pops back up? Mm hmm Just like you're making bread. Yeah. For, yep, you're looking real good. What do you need, Master? I'll fix something in a minute. We have some bean soup left. No. You said you were gonna fix some rice. You want some rice with the beans? Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. You said I have okra too. Okay. Yeah, he can fry some okra. Yeah, man. That's the only way I eat it, but I have to has to be done. Yup, it can't be that slimy. Well, see, my 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 grandmother and my aunt spoiled me, so I couldn't eat just okra. Although Rena made some okra soup, and that was good. Oh, no, no, no. just like it, like it steamed with oil. I remember that because I used to bring them over all the time. Mm -mm. I couldn't get it. Yeah, look, I, we're on the same page. I went to sleep at the table many a time. Because huh? I would eat this stuff. <laughs> yeah. I was one of those kids that never went to sleep at the table. No, I, I've done it. No, I liked everything my mother cooked. Hey. We, oh yeah, you know. We used to have the tables where the where the legs come up, and then there was a little piece that went down the back. We used, to, but we didn't even used to stick it up there. No. And my mother was always wondering why, why the dog was running around trying to jump <laughs> at the table. No, I was doing it. Just about anything over there. <laughs> oh, don't, don't let clean day come up. We we better get over there to that table before anybody else. But well, we weren't smart enough. We, we we just stuck it up under there and just let it go, you know. Instead of coming back later on when they weren't around and cleaning it out. Yo, <laughs> I did that over my aunt's house and she called me. She was laughing about. It. I was like four or something. She had cooked some kind of. I like veggies now. She had cooked something. I was like, oh, what? I was. I, she didn't have no dog, so I would just hold it underneath the table. Then it's time to get up. She's like, what's in your hands? Nothing. What? Nothing. Mm mm. Uh, Almost there. I think we're supposed to have a storm tonight. Oh, God. Really? It rained earlier a little bit. It's supposed to be like after 12, like 11 or 12. Until almost 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. I've got to go to work till late. Winds and rain. And oh, it's great. Peace. Yeah, exactly.
almost there. How bad if you need him? Give it like two more minutes, you'll be all set. Mm -hmm, you the muscle. And it doesn't need any flour because it's all. Is that really a restaurant? Don't you have one to her? Oh, no. Jimmy <laughs> got this mobile for uh, my birthday, and it, it was by mistake. This isn't the one she got me, but they, Amazon sent it instead by mistake. And I said, oh, no, I like this one too. And it needs to be. It's, it, it's a funny, funny little play on words. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. And th there's probably stores like this. I know that Philly. I don't, I don't know when they. Oh, were. that's I thought it was in Philly. Yeah, they they, they got pl uh, places up there that. Because Budokan's in Philly, right? Mm -hmm. You don't know Budokan? It's one of those restaurants where it has um. I think it's Vietnamese food, but I'm not sure. But it has like um different things and different um venues and venues and then you eat this and then they bring something else. It's like it might. remember where um in Wilmington where that East Indian restaurant was? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it's still there or not. It probably might be, I don't know. But um you used to go there and they had like seven courses of food. Mm -hmm. It was it Moroccan I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Moroccan food is good. Yes it is. Come on, yeah. I went there two or three times. <laughs> yeah. Come on, chicken tagine and all that. That looks mm -hmm. delicious. And while you're doing that, I'm going to sprinkle a little flour on the... <laughs> little flour on here. Just so nothing sticks. It's still on. Hey. Okay. Okay, we should be good. Okay. Yep. What I'm going to do is turn this off and then put on part one and then put on part two. Okay. So they won't, you know. Yep, and it's rising back up after you press it. So you and it has no yeast in it. Nope. That's right. I'm mm -hmm. thinking of it. Like I said, this is the first time I'm. This is my first video. It's my second one. Come on. Yeah, bro. Let them know. With you. <laughs> hey. And that's another You would make a good teacher. Oh, oh, thank you. I don't know. I ain't never thought of that. I wonder if Bill's not firing anybody. I'll call because I never called them all. I called them all for a couple of things. And what I did was I figured. Oh, well, yeah, we do got a letter there. I figured I would. um. We're going to come back with part two.